the Pi system is about connecting things to the tasks that need to be done. It's about taking real-time data and getting it to where it needs to go. But how do you do that? That's where the Pi system comes in. The basic components of the Pi system start with a server architecture. There's two halves, the Pi data server and the Pi AF server. And then there's other components that collect data from the things you own, bring it to the server, and then get it to you. So you can do things like real-time troubleshooting. Now, there's many other tasks that the Pi server is capable of doing, such as reporting on data quickly, getting data into spreadsheets, and doing anything you can do with Excel, avoiding breakdowns, getting notifications before problems happen, keeping the process healthy, and just keeping plain tabs on how your assets are performing, and minimizing the grunt work of preparing reports that might take hours. But not only does it speak to many tasks, the Pi system can bring data from many different sources, from industrial sources all the way to server architecture. We have hundreds of interfaces to bring data in seamlessly from anywhere. And we have many client tools to allow humans to use that data. It's all done with the network of the Pi system. Users ask for something through one of our tools, and the data from our sources comes to the server and makes it out to the process you want. This means that you can get data from anywhere to anyone who's doing any task that they need real-time data for. And that's the Pi system.